like I mentioned before, um, everything has gates around it. And so um, to get into a lesson with someone, they have to let you into their apartment complex um, or you have to like know the key to the building, which is impossible. It like changes all the time. And um, so there were billions of times where we would set up an appointment with, where we had like made up an, a contact for someone and we had set up an appointment with them for like the next day and they all they had to do was sit in their apartment and not answer their phone for us to not be able to have that contact um but um so one day we were going to this meeting or appointment with a contact we had made um and the apartment door was locked and so we could not get in and we just said a prayer and we were like heavenly father if if there's any way you could let us into this apartment complex we would love to make this appointment the person wasn't answering their phone so it didn't look very good at all um but i just had a prompting to push the gate and i pushed the gate and it was unlocked and they are never unlocked ever and so we were like wow this is such like this is from god um, so we pushed the gate open and we just went right in and um, the address that a pers the person from yesterday had given us was fake. It didn't exist. And so we had come to this apartment and we had gotten in and we were like, why would Heavenly Father let us in like a miracle, like let us into this apartment complex if this person doesn't exist? Um, and I don't know how we decided to knock on this door. I think the number the person from before had given us was like 3101 and there was like a 3001. And we were like, well, that's kind of close. Maybe they just made a mistake and like forgot to put another one or something. So we knocked on this door and it wasn't the lady we had contacted from before. And so we were like, well, she doesn't exist. But the person that we did get was someone who was waiting for us. So she was looking for religion. She, um, she quickly like told us a lot about herself and I you know people you don't really tell people intimate details about your life um but you do if they're messengers from God and I think that this woman immediately recognized that we were messengers from God she didn't know how to pray but she had been however she prayed or if she knew that there was a God, she had been asking for a sign that she could get out of the current situation that she was in and be happier, that her and her children could be happier. And, um, it was just so incredible and such a manifestation to me that God is so aware of everyone. And, you know, that person from before gave us a fake address so that we could find this person, you know, and there was no way that we would have found her or gotten into the building without the hand of God. And, you know, she turned out to be an investigator and I never got to see if she got baptized, but she was so special. And I just, whenever we talked to her from then on out, I just could feel how much Heavenly Father loved her and how much he wanted her to hear our message and understand that she was loved. Um, because she hadn't felt that in a long time. That was a really special experience.